everyone, David from goldstartool.com and today I had a chance to um, uh, compare side by side a console 255 RB-3 and a console model 206 RB-5. Uh, console 206 RB-5, a very, very, very popular sewing machine, obviously, both walking foot machine. We, we sell tons of 206 RB-5, very classic, beautiful. I love the look on 206 RB. I have many videos on it and I sell tons of them for console people. And obviously console, the family is very, very supportive of their product and they're very good. So we like to sell console, but on the right hand side, we have a 255RB-3. And 255RB-3 is also a very good sewing machine, but it's, uh, obviously we don't sell as many as 206RB-5 that we sell too, I mean, we don't sell too many of the 255RB-3 as we do 206RB-5. It might be the price, but I'm gonna tell you uh, what are the difference between two, those two machines. So. This is a triple feed walking foot machine. I have a bunch of videos. I'm not gonna go to the details. Um, uh, very, very, very popular sewing machine. We had a set up on a K-leg on a table with thread stand, um, LED lamp, and it's on a brushless motor. Uh, so uh, the brushless motor, you could always adjust the speed up and down. And then there's a, ch there's a choice of adding a needle positioning system to this sewing machine. So the machine is on, obviously, the, the, as I said, there is no oil pan, never been an oil pan. There is an oil drip panel right here. Uh, so you always, and I always said that there are spaces that you need to oil. There are marked red, 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 red. You just uh, drop oil, oil every day. Um, I'm gonna show, you know, again, Look at this beauty. It's both, and I, I mean, I'm not gonna go to the detail because I have a detail, detail video on this one. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do the same thing that I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do with that one, I'll tell you what is the difference. So on this one, the bobbin is what we call side load. The bobbin is right here. And I'm gonna take this, and let me take this out. Did I do that? I'm gonna grab it. Ah, uh, it's okay, no cut. I'm gonna just go in the back. Maybe I could come with me and better look at the back too, really. I mean, I think it's good for customers to see the back of the sewing machine. So this is the back, identical. Identical back. See, everything is the same. Foot, I mean, hand lifter right here. This is the arm for the middle walking. I mean, there is two walking foot here, obviously outside, inside. This is uh, for the outside. So look at the back there. It's everything is the same. Same exactly. Now, uh, if you could come here and hopefully I could turn that light on. I wanted to show you that the light, the bobbin case is the side load. I'm gonna just pick it up. So whenever you need to, right here, it's a bobbin, and bobbin and whenever you need to change the bobbin, reload the bobbin, whatever you need to do, you gotta put it from here. Now, you have a choice of getting it from the bottom or from the top, right? And from here. Now, on this machine, which is a 255RB, it's top load. And a lot of people like top load. Um, there is two reasons. Number one, uh, top load is always more um, powerful. And uh, bobbin is not M bobbin. It's a, I think I would say, uh, I don't know what, it, what do they really call them, but it's a bigger bobbin than M, so more capacity. We call it large capacity. If anybody knows what they call, like, you know, we have L bobbin, M bobbin, S bobbin. Or, I don't know what it is called, but uh, it's a larger capacity. The reason is because a lot of people use more heavy duty thread on these machines, 
and they want, it's gonna take more room, so they want more uh, capacity on their bombing, so it won't end so fast. One more reason is that people like this machine is because whenever you show this, obviously you work with this heavy machine, you have a huge panel on the left-hand side, and it's always very hard to change the bobbin from here. So all they do is, um, here, this one right here is empty, if you could see. I think I really took everything out, I think the lights are on. Um, so you use the bobbin from here, meaning that it's top load, it's more heavy duty, and let's in look inside. Same way, no oil panel, no pumping ability. It's, um, it, uh, you also add the oil. The oil goes inside the machine right here. There is a, um, you, the, only the upper part holds the oil, not the lower part. The oil goes here, there's a pump ability up here. Um, and there are many places that you put the oil here, here, here. Now there is one more thing here that has that you could adjust the old machine that doesn't have it. I'm gonna show you. On this one, you could adjust the, the middle feed, how to be, and I'm gonna do it for you right now. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be. All right, so this one is on, boom, light, on, and I'm gonna show, right? Let me bring the other one. Um, now, I'm using a 138 thread on this one, and this one they're doing 69. That doesn't really matter. I'm gonna... It just, you feel that it, this machine had more power, and it's more, uh, more, it's heavy, could do heavier stuff. It just feels when you do it. Now, again, uh, broke the thread right here, and the reason is because maybe it got stuck somewhere. Yeah, maybe. But I don't know why we broke the thread. We're gonna go ahead and do it again. Um, now, both have reverse, right? And both have a stitch length up to 10 millimeter from one to 10 millimeter. Bobbin winder on the side. Both of them have the bobbin winder. The same identical uh, um, belt cover. Now on this one, we just use the regular servo motor, not a uh, not a uh, brushless. And I feel more comfortable using a 138 thread on this one. So instead of using a 69, just to compare the two, I'm gonna uh, use the 138. There are bonded thread, obviously both. Um, you have bonded 69, bonded 138, bonded 207, and you have them all on our website. And now if you want, you could take a look see how I do the threading on this machine too. In, from here, in, out, Use my back. So, again, I tell you sometimes, uh, I said this many times, there are many um, of these holes and thread guides. You don't really need to use all of them. Uh, but here, I'm gonna go from the top. Here. By the way, this is the first time I'm using this. Um, never did this. Down, up, right? I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, inside, I'm gonna put this inside the hole, I guess. Right here, through the thread take up. Where is it? On the thread take up, there is two holes that don't matter which where it goes. And Through here, here you could put some silicone oil if you want. Uh, and this right here. Oh yeah. And then, um, 
I think the um, pretty much beside the obviously inside it you have more heavy duty um, stuff going on in there, but really um, the table, the stand, everything is the same. Obviously, the bed of the machine is the same. The needle, as I tell you these things, the needle is 135 by 17. Um, and I'll take this out, I'll take this down, put this through, put it through, and put this back up, all right? And Open this up. Whenever you, all right. So I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna do the white thread. Sometimes. You're gonna have a hard time, and I tell you why. My thread, upper thread, and lower thread are not the same. And that makes it sometimes difficult for the sewing machine because, but I'm gonna work it out right now. My lower thread is 69, my upper thread is uh, 138. And you see how big of a hole this has? The eye. So I'm gonna go back here. Sometimes it happens that the sewing machine gets stuck. You know, relax, take it easy, and it's gonna work, you know. Look at that. I love it. I just love it. Look at this. So we're doing 255RB-3 versus 206RB-5. And the needles are right here too. Here it tells you 135 by 17. Over there it tells you 135 by 17. So this we sewed this one. I just want to show inside to you guys. Oh man, this is heavy stuff. By the way, we are back in TikTok too now these days. I know a lot of people don't like TikTok and say they might shut it down, but uh, it seems like a lot of people like TikTok. So I'm in TikTok too. Look at this timing belt. Look at the engine inside. So you see, there is no oil here, but there is oil in the top right here. When we get oil, bottle of oil, everything goes inside. Now, let's go here and see this setup right here. Much, much lighter, much, much more economy. Look at this. You don't have no timing belt. If it's just the system is totally different. It, you could feel that that one could do much, much more heavy stuff versus this one. I mean, exact the same table, exact same legs. Um, I'm gonna get to the um, measurement right now. So here we go. Oh. And it's heavy. It is heavy. So, table, and all the tables are 47 by 21. The neck from the needle to the um, what, I, what do you call it? The neck is about 10 inch. Uh, right here is 10 inch. 5 inch, the highest place of the sewing because a lot of people put cushions here and sew. And this one is actually a little bit less, you see? It's four inch, four and four and a half inch. Right? Now, raise off the foot. Uh, you have I would say half an inch. And on that one, it might even be higher, I feel. No, 
is the same. I will say half an inch, yes. Again, top load, look at the bobbin, different plate, different feed dog, and the other one had a more heavy duty plate and a bigger, bigger eye feed dog. From here, again, the oiling, just you oil here. See, we, we oil from here. You just drop oil here on the red spot right here, and then you just close this every now and then. On the other one, again, you open this one, Which one? Here, from here you put oil in there and you're gonna have a measurement that shows you how much oil you have. And now I'm gonna tell you what is this. And now the food, by the way, the food, the system that they both use. If you have a 255RB-3 and you wanna use the 206RB-5, it's identical type of feet. Now both of them are the same type of feet. I think they call them console, I mean, they're uh, single type. I just wanna know, I think this is the pump for the oil. I think when, uh, I gotta get into it to know what it is, but I don't know. What comes with the machine is a couple of bobbins. Look, look, look at this. These bobbins are really big. Look at these huge bobbins. Let me see if there is any bobbins in here. Uh, yes. So this is from 206RB-5. So this is bigger. It doesn't show, but it's bigger. It, you could see it. It is bigger, this is bigger, they get smaller one. But still, these are M-class. You have some oiler, some needles, some uh, screwdrivers, same thing here. Exact same thing, some needles. This one comes with the DBX-17 size 140. Side one for is 22. This one, I don't know if there's a needle in here, but if it is, um, yeah, there is needles. And I think these are size 22 as well. Um, what else do we need to talk about? Again, all the machine comes with LED lamp with the thread stand, identical. Identical stuff, only this is top load, this is south lo side load, more heavy, you have more gadgets here inside. Both, re both have reverse. Let me look at the... Um, two five five rb 3 probably 226R-5 is an older model that they have. Uh, it said Japan, but I think manufacturing plant was or is in Japan, but uh, they're made in China. When we get the boxes, it's just made in China and it is made in China. In fact, now, there are a lot of items inside the sewing machine that are still made in Japan, but uh, they still, uh, so here, this is the vinyl. People tell me all the time, do some vinyl, this is some denim, look at that. And now this is a three layer. I mean, this is, we did four, and I'm gonna do, this is the way we do the, Go inside, right? It takes a little bit time to. Are we ready? I love it. Look at that. I love it. Raise, turn. Four layers of beauty. This is vinyl. This is what we call the marine vinyl that we sell on our website. That stock. Whenever that happens, just go up and down. I think here we have a lot of, uh, see, I'm gonna cut. Sometimes the reason it gets stuck is because the foot can't really, the machine will sew, but the foot cannot Like butter. Woo! Love it. Love it. Okay, now we're gonna take the same thing and we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna take the same thing. Look at the back, perfect back. Whenever if you see the back are not perfect, you could just adjust. 
and you're gonna be good. Um, we're gonna do it here. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna just get a new pickup wine that I have here. I know people are gonna complain to me why you're doing all the, you know what? Let's do some of this. Let's do some of this. Let's do some of this. Now, these are a little bit tricky, but let's see, it's gonna work. Here, this is the blue one that I just did. This is the back. I'm gonna tie it a little bit. Okay, you like the back, let's see. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing. Now, because you guys wanna see this one, uh, I'm gonna go to this one too, so you guys see. Because we just did. It's sewing and it's going, but the other one is like uh, banging it and going. Like you could feel that when the needle comes down, it's like, you know, more heavy stuff. But perfect. Still do the job. Uh, again. The other machine has more, you could feel that it's more stronger. Okay, like, I'm gonna go here, corner, let's see how it's gonna react to this one. Perfect. Look at this. So, this one was the one that we did 255, this is the one that I did 206RB. Beautiful sewing. Both of them are doing a great job side by side. It seems like the other one has, again, when it comes down, you feel more um, the pressure on the fabric. Meaning it's like banging it and coming down. I, I worked on many, many sewing machines that I had a better feeling working on this one today on the 255RB-5. Again, is a, a bigger, a bigger um, bobbin, is vertical, that one is side load. The rest of the stuff is perfect. You saw inside, this is much better, much bigger inside than the other one. But um, again, this is David from Gold Star Tool. Uh, wanted to uh, do a side by side comparison and I had a chance. Please let me know what type of video you want me to do for you. And thank you for watching.